The southern resident orcas typically spend most of their summers in the Salish Sea. But this year, one pod has been missing. A hundred days without them is is really concerning and they're they're telling us something is wrong and something has changed. J-Pod has never been gone this long from inland waters ever before. Even more concerning, they're not the only southern resident pod that's missing. Really, except for one pretty much half a day of, of K-Pod being here uh, on July 1st, um, we would be going on over three months of no members. Orcas are where their prey is. So if the whales aren't here, researchers are worried the salmon aren't either. The decline in their presence here in the Salish Sea is really linked to the decline of the Chinook salmon returning to the Fraser River. However, there is hope. Southern resident orcas have been spotted instead off the west coast of Vancouver Island near Port Renfrew. There have been a couple reports earlier this month of J-Pod out at Swiftshire Bank, and the hope is that they're intercepting salmon from multiple runs out there. Since 2013, southern residents have been increasingly foraging on the west coast of Vancouver Island, but researchers are concerned. Swiftshire Bank is known as a busy commercial fishing area, cargo shipping lane with Navy training sites nearby. We really need to be looking at that area to, to think about ways to protect the whales when they're out there. The science is in, it's just a matter of the federal government making that happen. Meanwhile, a leap of optimism. L-125, born earlier this year, seen healthy and happy, the first time identified as a girl. That she was seen out there is such great news because it, you know, it means she's still alive. It means her family is uh, able to, has been able to uh, find enough food to keep her alive. A hopeful sign southern residents are adapting. The larger concern now, salmon stocks and the wider ecosystem.